the, the head assembly here is designed to come up and out of the system so that you can remove the flash lamp within the oscillator and, uh, and then be able to return this back into uh, the cavity here, tighten it down, and you no alignment would be necessary in order to get back where you were previously operating. So two things that uh, you need to, uh, to realize as you're taking this up and out is the, the wire connections and then the off the, then the uh, mechanical uh, 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 the mechanics of actually taking it out. So what you have here is two flash lamp leads. These are high voltage leads from the power supply. Uh, black for negative, red for positive over here. Also note that you see the same stickers yes. right here on the uh, head assembly. That way you are putting the, the flash lamp in in the correct polarity, okay? Because you have a positive end and a negative end, and this is what denotes that. So first you want to do is slide the high voltage lead off of both sides, okay? This is a thermal uh, switch uh, sensor. And this is just a simple Molex connector. You just slide that right out, okay? Now the next thing you'll want to do is note the thumb wheel down here at the bottom. Now uh, counterclockwise tightens it, clockwise loosens it. So it's opposite to what we know, all right? So uh, it's easy to sit here thinking that you are loosening it or trying to loosen it. All you're doing is tightening it more. Okay, so just remember that counterclockwise to, uh, to, to tighten, clockwise to loosen. So we're going to spin this clockwise. Sometimes you might need two thumbs down there. You notice how I kind of gripped it and put both my thumbs down there to get it started because it was a little tight. Hear the water? Yes. So water is constantly flowing through this head as it operates. And so what we just heard is a little bit of water. Uh, flowing out the bottom. Now notice how loose this has gotten and this is all tightened down by that thumb wheel. <clears throat> now this is comes up and out and uh, right here are the water channels for the input and output. So the water flows in and out around the rod and around the flash lamp itself. <clears throat> these are your water channels here. If you see these uh, o-rings out of place put them back into place before you put the head back on. Otherwise, they could pinch, and you can get water leaks as a result. But notice that there is a dowel here on the bottom, and it fits into this dowel uh, position here, so there's no way for you to take put this back in backwards, okay? And then, of course, here's the thumb wheel with the, uh, <clears throat> the screw there, the threaded screw, and it goes right into there as it cinches it back down into the sole plate. This is called the sole plate here. Notice the ball bearings. The ball bearings help it bring down into a position where <clears throat> you won't have to realign it again. All right. So there's a little bit of water that's always in here, usually about a half an ounce. So if you want to watch me drain this water out real quickly, it's just a matter of tilting it, and the water will come out. So here's the uh, <clears throat> flash into the flash lamp here, as well as here. And then in here is the end of the rod. You can actually see it there. And whenever you want to inspect the rod, you get a flashlight, you kind of look at the, the surface of the rod there, okay? And uh, here's the other end of the rod, right there, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's the end of our removal.